Never be afraid of the direction God gives you, because wherever he is leading you, he already made the way. When God told me to get on TikTok and start making videos about my journey, I was a little hesitant. Only out of obedience did I start making videos, and I realized as I spoke, God was speaking through me. I was nervous, but he strengthened me. I thought I didn't have everything I needed. I wanted the camera, the lighting, the environment. God told me, I've given you everything. Just do as I told you to do. Within 24 hours, I had a thousand followers. By the end of the week, I was sitting at 5,000 followers. Sometimes we think we don't have all the resources, not realizing God's the one who will make it grow. When I was a kid, I spent a lot of my days watching Food Network. My favorite thing to do was to bake. Having flour and sugar and baking supplies in the house was actually a luxury. I never really saw it. I was the one who would always put cinnamon in the Jiffy cornbread or waste all the food in the house trying to come up with a new recipe. Growing up struggling, I was always the one who would think outside the box. What could I make with what I have? As we get older, we kind of lose those passions we had as a kid until God finds them as being necessary and wakes them up. I found myself getting creative again in the kitchen, but I also found that God was speaking to me through my creativity, letting me know that I have all the resources that I need. I am a person who sees something and wonders what I can make with it, what I can create with it. And when I create it, how can I make it better? Then one day, God started showing me some of his people, and they would tell me what they have, what they want to do. And immediately, my mind would become very creative, trying to figure out how can they accomplish what they were created to do. What resources did they have? What could I help them put together so that they can create what they have envisioned? I would become very passionate about this, yet I was always rejected. People don't trust people nowadays, and I understand that. But I appreciate them because God revealed a gift in me that I didn't even take notice of. What you see is me building. I'm headed somewhere, but I'm also waiting on my moment. Today is day 12 of something new, and I'm really feeling good today because God has just really been giving me strategies, speaking to me. I've been taking notes and just really getting direction. I'm continuing speaking life over myself. I'm continuing decreeing an abundant life and just continuing growing with God. So today God really wanted me to come on here and say, you have all the resources that you need. I think many times when God puts a dream or he gives us a vision or he gives us direction, a lot of the times we're looking for God to give us more. And God says he's already given you everything. Something that I had to learn to do was invite God into every area of my life. Even the areas we think are just for us. What we don't understand is God will move in every area. So whether you're trying to accomplish a goal, you don't have to do that alone. Whether you're moving or trying to start something, you're not alone in that. God wants to, God wants to help you in those things. And... <laughs> It may sound crazy, but there's been times where God will tell me, hey, I need you to do your hair. And I'm like, okay, and I'll do my hair. And you know, a couple of days later, something comes up and I'm just grateful I had my hair done because I didn't feel like doing it at that time. But God would tell me in advance so that I would be prepared. So I went grocery shopping one day and I started buying, you know, filling my cart up and I'm putting in the frozen waffles. I'm putting in the frozen pancakes. I'm putting in all this stuff. And, you know, I invite God into every area of my life and I tell him, you know, God speak to me about, you know, this and that. And so when you invite God into every area of your life, you are open to receiving the word of God in every area of your life because you open yourself up to receive God's word. A lot of people like to close off different areas of their life and they wonder why they don't hear God's voice in that area when really God is like, I need you to open that area up because you're praying for this over here. But if you don't open this area up, I can't get to that. And so a lot of the ways God moves in our lives is 
he, he goes to the root of things. And sometimes we like to close the root up and God's like, no, I need you to open that up so that I can help you. Quick example, say you're praying for a spouse and God hears your prayers, but also God wants to prepare you on that. And so in order for God to prepare you, he's got to help you in some areas where you really just close that off to God and you want to do your own thing in that area. And God's like, you're praying for a husband, yet you won't allow me in this area to help you. So anyways, I'm at the grocery store. I'm filling my cart up with all these frozen things. And all of a sudden I hear the Holy Spirit speak to me. He's like, you don't need that. You know how to cook. And I'm just like, uh, you know, I love my, my waffles. Mind you, I don't buy, I wasn't buying like the cheap egos. I was getting the protein ones, you know, the ones that'd be like five, six dollars a box. <laughs> and it only comes with like eight and it was like a waste of money. And I'm already complaining to God about money. Like God helped me with my finances and God's checking me in the grocery store. Like you don't need that. And so all of a sudden God starts downloading, you know how to make waffles you know how to make pancakes you got all the resources you need at home you got the flour you got the sugar you got the egg you got the butter you got all these things you know how to make it go home put it together and make it start meal prepping and that's how God started really teaching me about utilizing my resources utilizing the things that I already have in order to build what I need to build because God supplies all of our needs. When God tells you to do something, it's not like he's telling you to do something and you don't have all the resources. God, God already provided the resources. A lot of the times God wants to work on the small things. God wants to work on the small things and build you up. So no man can say that they helped you. <laughs> no one can say that they did that for you. You will know that it was God. I think about the story of Gideon, one of my favorite stories in the Bible and Gideon's threshing wheat <laughs> and an angel comes and says, mighty warrior, you know, you've been called to defeat your enemies. And Gideon's like, excuse me, like, Lord, where you been? Like, how can I, me, Gideon? And God's like, you have the strength. You have everything you need to defeat your enemies. And then it goes on and even God, Gideon gets his army together and God was like, nah, your army's too big, way too big. I need you to downsize. God got to the smallest handful of army men in order for Gideon to effectively defeat his enemies. God is a God who will use a little bit and make it so big. And we can't even, sometimes we don't even understand it. We don't, we can't comprehend it. All we can do is glorify God and know that he is the one behind everything that we do. So I started meal prepping. I started getting my life together because I love to cook. And one thing that I was doing was I was cooking and a lot of stuff would go to waste or I was buying all this food and God was showing me how I had issues with just getting too much food that I don't even eat. I had eight boxes of cereal on top of the fridge and every single one was open because some days I want Cheerios and the other, other days I want Cocoa Pebbles. <laughs> and so God had to really check me in that area and say, I'm not utilizing my resources well. And from there, I learned so much because even when you go through a dry season, the things that God teaches you, you will be able to utilize and know in your dry seasons. Everything God teaches you is helpful. So if you're going to be open to allowing God to speak to you and come into your space, your life, and really convict you in every area, you have to be open to allowing God in and hearing his voice, hearing what he has to say, listening to the direction that he gives you. I don't know if you noticed, but throughout the Bible, God is very strategic. God will say, do this. And everyone's like, why, why do I need to do this? <laughs> everyone's confused. But God's like, do this, then do this. And then you'll see everything that follows. And sometimes that's how God is with us. He will blind us to the big picture. But as we do the little things, as we are obedient to the little things, every little thing we do connects. And then all of a sudden, the big picture of everything is formed. And so I really want to encourage you to open yourself up for the Holy Spirit to speak to you in every area of your life, even the smallest areas as you know, Lord, what should I do today? Where should I go today? Sometimes God might direct you, go sit at the coffee shop today. You know, there's gonna be someone there that I want you to speak to. 
or God just might lead you somewhere, but just be obedient to God. Allow God in, allow yourself to be able to receive the voice of God. There's so much going on around us daily that sometimes it becomes difficult for us to hear God's voice. And it's like, was that God? I don't know if that was God. God's gotta get creative and speak to you in a way that you would understand. <laughs> but I think it's very essential for us to understand that God is for us. He will never leave us or forsake us. And if there's a word he needs to get to us, God will get it to us in the way that we understand. But we have to be open to hearing the voice of God and be open to what God needs to say. Thank you for watching. This is the end of day 12. I hope that you are inspired. Keep watching for more. There's so much more coming soon. I, this is gonna go all the way until day 30. God has already told me what I'm gonna do after the 30 days, and so I'm really excited for that. But I hope that you stay encouraged and keep growing with God. God bless. Thank you.